Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a child theme for your WordPress site. Now the reason you want to create a, th a child theme, the biggest reason, is because everybody wants to tweak their theme a little bit. But the problem becomes when you're tweaking your theme directly and the developer releases an update, there's a chance if the files that you are working on are updated, then your tweaks will be gone. You have to redo everything. Whereas if you're running a child theme, it uses the core functionality of the, the original theme, but your styles and your changes are overlaid on top of it. So you can update the core files, but your overlay, the child theme, still exists and it's still intact. Now depending on what the developer changes, you may have to make some minor tweaks, but your original code is all still there. So you can just pop in there, make some minor tweaks, you're ready to rock and roll. So that's the biggest reason people create child themes, and I'm going to show you how to create one right now. It's really easy. So here we are on the WordPress dashboard, and I just want to show you where you'd see your child theme. When we go to the Appearance menu and click on Themes, you will see all the themes installed in your site. We have the Aveda theme currently active. This is an older version of the Aveda theme inactive. And we will see very soon an Aveda child theme in here as well that we will then activate. So to create a child theme, you have to head into your, either your cPanel or log into your website via FTP, find the file manager icon, find the domain name where you want to create the child theme, and we want to go into the wp-content folder, and then the themes folder, and we're going to create a new folder called aveda-child. So there's our new folder. Now you don't have to add the dash child, that's not a requirement, but for your own purposes, if this is your own child theme, then I recommend you do add it, just because it makes your theme directly more understandable. If this is a commercial theme, like uh, it's very common to create child themes for the Genesis framework and then sell them. A lot of people do that, but they don't want to call it Genesis child, so they call it something more applicable to what they're selling. It could be super duper theme built on Genesis and then the folder might be called super duper. So it's not required that we have the dash child in the name. It's just for convenience sake and for readability. The next thing we want to do is go inside the child theme. Now there's only one file that's required for your child theme and that is the style.css file. The functions.php file is highly recommended and we will create one as well but the style.css is the only one that's required. We're going to click on the new file button on the top left and create the style.css file. And there's something very specific we have to write into this file. And what we're going to do is go back to the active theme, which for us is Aveda, find the style.css file, click on edit, and we want to copy this whole first section where it has information about the theme. And you want to copy the comments as well. The, the uh, star forward slash and the backslash star, those are comments in CSS files. So the browsers don't render this information. It's just there for users to be able to read and add comments to CSS files. So we want to copy this and we will close out of this page and we will go back to our new child theme and open this CSS file and we will paste in what we just copied. There are a couple tweaks we need to make to this information to make it an official child theme. So for this first one, the theme name, I like to add child at the end. That is what will show inside of your WordPress dashboard in the theme section. That is the title that will show up. And this is a description that shows up there as well, so you can change that if you wanted. And on the second line, I'm going to create something called template, and it's going to be called Aveda. Now, this Aveda is taken from the folder name of the theme, which is Aveda. If the folder name of the theme you're creating a child for is Harry-Potter-Super, then that is what you want to have as the template name. And it's case sensitive, so you want to make sure you type it exactly, exactly how this folder is, because it's case sensitive. And that's all there is to it. You now have a child theme 
We will save this. We will go into our Manage Themes or back into our WordPress dashboard to the theme section, click on Refresh. We now have a child theme right here. We don't have a thumbnail, obviously, but this is the child theme. If we click on Activate, that will then become the active theme. But as you know, the CSS file is completely blank. So we're loading an essentially blank style sheet. So if we go to our website and we refresh the page, it's gonna be broken. So we have, we have stuff. I mean, we have background colors, we have sliders, we have stuff going on, but compared to what it's supposed to be, it's broken. So what we do is we either have the option of doing an at import inside the CSS file to import the parent CSS file from the, the original theme. But a better method is to create the functions.php file. So we create the new file by clicking on the new file button and then typing in functions.php and into this file we will paste a simple function that will pull the parent style sheet into the child theme so everything looks right. So we highlight the functions.php file and click on edit and we type in the php start and we paste in this piece of code. You can find it right below this video as well so you can copy and paste it from there. You don't need to have the closing PHP tag inside the functions file, but you can do it for good measure. It's, it's up to you. But once you paste that code in there, essentially what it's saying is it's going to enqueue the script. It's going to take the parent styles from the template directory URI, and it's going to get the style.css file, which is what we want. And we click on save. Now if we go back to our home page and refresh it, it's back to how it should be. So to quickly re recap what we've done, we've created a new folder inside our themes directory and it's called the theme name dash child. Inside of that folder, we, cre we created a style.css file where we copied the theme legal information from the parent theme into that child theme style sheet. And all we did was change the name in that style sheet, I'll show you what I'm talking about specifically. We changed the theme name here to add child at the end. And we added this template piece where this word or words, maybe in your case, references the file name or the folder name of the actual parent theme. And then what we did was we added a functions.php file and we pasted this code in there to pull in the parent style sheet. And this is how our child theme looks. This is everything that's involved in the child theme. So if you follow those steps, you should now have an up and running child theme, which is awesome. And in some other videos, I show you how you can start tweaking your existing theme through your child theme so that you can start making edits and not worry about having to do updates to your main theme because your edits here won't be affected. So in this video, you learn how to create a child theme from start to finish. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped. Share it on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out WPLearningLab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.